everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the Holly Jolly tag. Um, I was tagged by Linda Lee to do this, so I'm excited to share with you guys all of our answers. So this is my youngest son, Brettley, and he's going to help answer some of these questions too. So we'll go ahead and get started. Number one, what is your favorite Christmas movie? What's our favorite Christmas movie? Santa. Santa. Pretty much. Actually, our favorite Christmas movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. So our family loves all things spooky, so that is probably not a surprise at all. Um, I know that it's, is it a Halloween movie or is it a Christmas movie? Hmm. I would Halloween. say it's an every, a uh, Halloween. I would say it's an everyday movie. We love this movie so much, we watch it all the time. So for me, that's my favorite Christmas movie. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Jack the Skeleton. Jack the Skeleton, told you. Okay, so number two. Are you on the naughty or the nice list? Hmm. Nice list. You're on the nice list? Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Isn't naughty more fun? Just kidding. Okay, number three. Show us an embarrassing Christmas card photo. Gosh, I don't have one. Um, I, you know, our family, our family's crazy. We're a little weird. Um, there is nothing embarrassing. We have tried several ways to embarrass one another, and it just, you know, every year we one-up each other, and so it just... There's really nothing that embarrasses us anymore, so I don't have one. Uh, okay, number four. Have you ever had a white Christmas? Do we have snow on the ground? Yeah. We do. We have snow on the ground. We live in eastern Washington currently, and so, yeah, we usually always come away with a white Christmas. If it's not snowing Christmas Day, we usually, like, 99 percent of the time have snow on the ground. So yes, we do. Number five, where do you usually spend your holiday? So we celebrate Christmas Eve, and I'll actually get to that in a couple of questions down, but we usually spend Christmas here. Uh, my husband's family live in Arizona, so we really don't get to see them anymore for Christmas. But um, so we spend it here in the States. I mean, we spend it here in Eastern Washington at our house. Yeah. Okay. So, number six. Oh, gosh. Play or sing your favorite Christmas song. What's your favorite Christmas song? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Do you want to sing it for them? You can. I can? Yeah. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Okay, we're going to move on. Number seven, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Okay, so like I said before, my husband's side of the family celebrates Christmas Eve. So all presents get open on Christmas Eve. And my family, we celebrate Christmas Day. So it always worked out perfectly when, we, when um, his family did live here close to town we would celebrate with his family christmas eve my family christmas day but now with our own family yes we do we open all of the presents on christmas eve and then in the morning who's come dad well dad but who comes in the morning or it's christmas eve and drops off presents santa claus, santa claus. so all of the santa gifts are saved for christmas morning so that's pretty special all right, number eight. Can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Do you know them? No. No? Okay, let's try this. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen? Yeah. And who has the red nose? Reindeer. I know. What reindeer has the red nose? Victor. Close. Rudolph. Oh. I think we got them all. <laughs> okay, he so. Has one more. One more? Yeah, in the middle. Oh, okay. And it was named, like, Jack. I guess there's a reindeer named Jack, too. So don't forget about that one. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. 
Number nine, what holiday tradition are you looking forward to most this year? I personally would have to say I love waking up Christmas morning to my kids beating on our door as early as they possibly can that Santa has come. That has some special memories for me because I remember being little and doing the same thing to my parents. And my dad, I swear, and I told him I would never do this to my kids, but my dad would slowly walk down as he putting on his robe and he'd make a pot of coffee and then he would go take a bath and my sister and I were just dying to open our gifts and I swore to him I would never do that to my kids. But one of my favorite things to do now is to delay that and do exactly what I said I wouldn't do. But it's fun. It gets the kids super excited. So that would probably be my favorite thing. All right, number 10. Is your Christmas tree fake or is it real? Real. It's real. We actually got a real Christmas tree this year. We usually have fake trees. Um, but this year was our first year that we went to um, Carver Farms in Newport and we we got our own Christmas tree. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. It smells amazing, so we really like that. All right, number 11. Hands down, what is your all-time favorite holiday sweet treat? I would have to say that is my grandma's... Um, of course, I'm going to draw a blank. It is, sorry, my grandma's sister cookies. They are made out of potato flour, and they are so amazing. Of course, nobody makes them like she does. We've all tried, but they just never turn out the same. So that is one of, that's my all-time favorite um, holiday treat. And I know my husband would say the same thing because she would always make Even him. Candy. Of course, candy. She would make him a special batch just for him. So we've really, we've really missed that and we really miss her. All right, number 12, be honest. Do you like giving gifts or do you like receiving gifts? Receiving gifts. I mean, if we're being honest, right? Um, for me, again, we're being honest here. Okay, I'm joking. I actually like uh, giving gifts. I'm not one to receive them. I've never, I don't like opening gifts in front of people. I don't know why, I never have. Um, if it's my husband who's brought a gift home, of course, yeah, of course I love receiving gifts. But overall, I love to gift gifts. And most of the gifts I give, I just have to say are handmade. I think they're much more personal and I enjoy making things for people. So I do love doing that. All right, number 13. Show your tackiest Christmas attire. I don't have any. I have been looking for years for like the best ugly Christmas sweater and I cannot find anything. So I don't know, does this count? Can you see humbug? Does that count? I don't know. If it's tacky, then we love it. So like I said, we're a weird family. It does count. It does count. All right, number 14, what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Oh, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. He says Santa Claus. My dream place would be anywhere warm. So let's say the Bahamas, nice and warm, sitting on the beach. The kids can be making their sandcastles, my husband and I drinking margaritas. Yes, please. That would be a dream. All right, number 15. Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? Yes. Yes. What do we like to make? Cookies. Cookies. We love to make Christmas cookies. We actually just made gingerbread cookies, didn't we? And circle ones. And Well, yeah, and circle ones. But we actually changed the recipe this year to be gluten-free, and surprisingly, they turned out just as good, didn't they? Yeah. We really liked them. All right, number 16. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? Um, I wouldn't consider myself a pro, but I would consider myself a perfectionist. So if that answers the question, I'm pretty picky when it comes to things like that. I don't know why, but I am. All right, number 17. What is your most memorable holiday moment? All right, all right, Linda, thanks for your story. That made me cry. Anyways, 
My most memorable holiday moment, I have lots. I honestly have lots. My memories with my cousins growing up at my grandparents' house, my sister, my family. But I'd have to say my most favorite is the year that my husband and I got married. So this was over 14 years ago. We were barely 18 and it was our very first Christmas as a married couple. And our son was just a couple months old. And we had, we had nothing to our name. We had no money at all. And we went to the store and spent our last penny buying groceries. And I just didn't know what we were gonna do. I didn't know how my husband was gonna make it to work. And I, I kid you not, we had nothing to our name. And after we checked out, this couple came up to us and introduced themselves and said, hey, I wanted to let you know Merry Christmas and that God loves you. We have been challenged to give five families $20 and we chose you. And of course I cried. I hope I don't cry any right now. Um, and I know it was just $20. I mean, who doesn't have $20? But at the time, that $20 got us through an entire week of food. We were so, gosh, we were young and stupid. But that meant more to us than anything. It was the biggest blessing at that time. And it was so much so that I actually wrote it in my Bible. And so every year I love to look at that and read that. And that was just something really special to me. So looking back now, it's, I find it kind of humorous now because, you know, like I said, we were young and stupid and it was $20, but at the same time, it was just the fact that God, God provides. He really does. So that would, I would have to say that that's my most memorable holiday moment. It was days before Christmas. All right, moving on. Okay. Number 18. Well, which, oh. which one is that? Do we think, we believe in Santa Claus, don't we? Yeah. We do. Right? Yeah. Where does he come in our house at? Does he walk through the door? Well, he, he's up there and goes in there and... He so lands on our roof and he comes through our chimney, right? Yeah. We probably shouldn't light a fire that night, huh? Yeah. What do you think would happen? He will just die. Well, that would be sad. We don't want to kill Santa Claus. So we'll make sure not to light a fire, guys. All right. Number 19. Do you make a New Year's resolution? And if so, do you stick to them? Uh, nope. Nope. I tried that like several years ago. Never stuck to a single one. I don't even bother. So I would say that each year I just strive to be a better mom and a better wife. And hopefully I do that. And then last, number 20, what makes the holiday special for you? I'd have to say my family. Just being and Santa Claus. And Santa Claus. But my family and being with family, that is the most special to me. So thank you for taking the time to watch our video. And we wish you a very Merry Christmas. And until next time, bye.